Okay, so now we're going to dive into iOS. So before we get started, the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to run through the manual steps that you were to that you would need to take if you were going to manually upload your app to the Apple App Store. Um, and this, the reason why we're doing this, it just gives you context on each step that Fastlane would need to take uh, in order to automate this process. So from a manual perspective. The first thing you would do is you would increment your build number if this was a, an incremental build. Um, this is a very easy step. You just go into Xcode and, and move the number up one. Um, but it's nice if it could if that could be automated away. The next thing you would do is install dependencies to the CocoaPods. And this is only applicable if you are using CocoaPods. And you and you may you're probably aware of this. This is essentially pods install or pod install. Um, the next thing that occurs is you would build your IPA, which you would typically do just straight next code. And then these next steps, this is where I can get a little, little hairy, at least for me when I was manually doing this, is you would have to go into the Apple developer console and you have to generate or grab your latest production provisioning profile. And you would have to generate or grab your latest production certificates. Then you would take your IPA and the production provisioning profile and production certificates and then you would create a sealed IPA and this is the same exact thing as code signing it's just worded differently and this is used to prevent a middleman or some sort of pirater from taking your app and making alterations to it after that's done you would then upload that sealed IPA to the App Store and then after that you would capture and upload screenshots to the App Store. Uh, and this is just used to show potential users what your app looks like and how they would uh, interact with it. You would then go on to the uh, App Store Connect, formerly known as iTunes Connect, and you would fill out metadata, such as uh, description, ratings, names, um, instructions, instruction information for testers, et cetera, et cetera. After that's done, you would then submit it for review. So this is a lot of steps that you would typically have to do for a manual build. However, with Fastlane, all of this is automated through, you know, essentially commands. So as you recall, Fastlane is essentially a Ruby script, um, and it has a thing called a lane, which takes in a series of commands. And so this would be an example of a lane, uh, not ne necessarily in the same order. I think it would it would be a little bit different because for instance like this gym uh, or build app you can see it's here twice uh, there's a reason for that but um, but this essentially automates each step in this manual flow to really help save the development team a lot of time which is very very helpful the one thing I would note about these fastlane commands is that all of these work for react native with the exception of this snap command and what the snap command does is it would automatically capture screenshots for all the different sizes, uh, potential sizes of your app. You know, so making sure that it has a screenshot for the iPhone 5 and the iPhone X and et cetera, et cetera. For the exception of some very experimental setups, this snap command does not work with React Native. Um, and I would not recommend attempting a very experimental setup. Uh, it's a real big pain in the rear. Fortunately, Apple has made significant strides in the past year to make this process a lot easier. So instead of having to take screenshots for every different iPhone version, um, instead you can upload screenshots for a 5.5 inch iPhone screen and Apple will essentially just resize your images for all the other phones. So the, the process isn't too bad, um, at least now. However, you can still, Fastlane still has the ability to upload the screenshots to your app, and I can show you more about that in, in a second. But all, all the other pieces are completely automated by Fastlane, which is uh, awesome. Okay, so now um, I'm just gonna give you some more context on essentially how Fastlane essentially works and how it interacts with all these different um, ancillary uh, sort of, um, I guess, entities. So focus your attention right here on this flow. 
on this Fastlane flow. This is essentially what Fastlane does. It's very similar to what you know I just showed you here, um, but uh, just, it just gives you some more context. So obviously the first thing that we did, um, or that Fastlane does that we just previously mentioned, is that it increments the build number and installs CocoaPods. And then it's gonna build your IPA. And the next thing it's gonna do is it's gonna create your sealed IPA or you know code sign your IPA. And the way it does this is there is a, you, would, you will essentially create a GitHub private repo that stores your certificates and pr provisioning profiles. The only thing you would really need to do here is just to create the GitHub private repo, which I'll show you how to do um, in a later video. And then Fastlane has a tool called Match that really automates this process for you. So if, if you don't have a certificate or provisioning profile generated currently, it's gonna go out to the Apple developer console and it's gonna generate brand new ones for you and it's gonna upload those to the repo. Um, subs and then uh, when it's actually code the IPA, it's gonna go out to the GitHub repo and grab those um, uh, certificates and provisioning profiles that it placed there earlier. And then obviously it's gonna create the sealed IPA. And then it's gonna go down to the next section where it's uploading the metadata and screenshots to the, to the app store. What it does here is it will go to a local folder on your computer it's going to grab screenshots and metadata that you filled out, such as app description. And it's going to take that information and it's going to automatically upload that to the App Store Connect. After that's done, it will then take your sealed IPA and it will upload that to the App Store and then submit it for review. All this is done automatically, which is amazing. All right, so that's more or less how uh, the Fastlane flow works with iOS. I do think it's important to go over this, and I will be referencing uh, these flows as we go through the project. Um, so let's go ahead and move on to the next section.